Hey there, Beth. It's uh, from Rock Your Notebook slash Scrapping Wonders. As you all know, I'm still in the process of going through the name change here. Um, but it's all good. <laughs> what I want to share with you here is a really, really simple art journal layout. And the reason why I decided to share this with you is because sometimes you just need a few minutes um, to be creative and then you feel so much better. And I wanted to show you how simple it is with something from Calico Collage that you can print out, you can cut it by hand, that my teapot was cut by hand. Um, I fussy cut that out and a, a tea bag. that's it. That's all I've got going on. I've got some uh, Jane Davenport mermaid markers here, a paintbrush and a heat gun. And that is all I used for this. And it literally took me like maybe 10 minutes to complete this. And I felt so much better after doing that. And that is what I wanted to share with you. Um, I am working in a Tomoe River insert for my shop. If you don't know, now you know. <laughs> um... The Tomoe River paper is exceptional and it handles fountain pens, it handles acrylic paint, it handles watercolor, and it handles all of these things beautifully. And you get an amazing, amazing art journal slash traveler's notebook insert once you have completed your notebook. And it's amazing what this paper can handle. So you can see me here drying and I left this part in for the simple fact that I wanted you to see me chase the water around and what that ends up looking like after you've chased the water around on your um, paper, your notebook, your art journal, whatever you're working on. It's just a really cool effect to do that. And then I'm using my absolute favorite, favorite glue, which is the Fabri-Tac glue. Uh, you can get it at a really decent price over at Michael's, Joanne's, Hobby Lobby, as long as you use the coupon. But I love, 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 love this glue. Um, it doesn't warp my collage pieces. It doesn't, um, I don't know, it's just my favorite glue. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just really awesome. And it gives me some wiggle room. So even though those pieces are stuck down, I can move them a little bit because it's not like an instant contact um, drying thing. So now I'm getting a blue mermaid marker and I'm adding some color. I was originally going to go with a different color, but then I saw my tea bag was that blue and then I felt like the blue mermaid marker really matched the tea bag well. So I decided to use that. And then you can see me adding water to just kind of smooth it out so that I don't get like all of these harsh lines. That's what I'm doing there. And then I'm going to drop ink by squeezing the mermaid marker and it makes these lovely lovely drops and then they spread because everything is still wet and I just love the way that looks and then I realized well I'm gonna be chasing this water slash ink around as well so let me add a little piece of a paper towel in there and then I'm going to dry it again literally after this all I do is I grab my absolute favorite pen, which is the envelope writing pen because it writes on everything and it's waterproof. And it's a super, super smooth writing experience. So after I dry this off, I blot some of this um, ink off, I'm gonna grab my envelope writing pen and I'm literally just going to journal about the fact that I really enjoy a cup of tea in the afternoon. Um, it is something that like after school pickup I'll come home and I'll make myself a cup of tea and it makes me super just relaxed and happy and ready for to tackle the rest of the afternoon. And that's all I'm talking about. So just to recap here, in order to create a super simple layout that that day was all I needed to just feel better and feel creative, I used two mermaid markers. You could use any watercolors you want. I added some ink to my paper. I spread my ink out with some water and a paintbrush and I collaged two pieces of um, ephemera onto my, pe my paper and that was it. That's all. You don't have to be extravagant. You don't have to know how to draw. You don't have to do anything crazy. 
this is it y'all this is all you have to do to literally rock your notebook out and feel good and feel like you're using the notebooks that uh, you have in your stash or that you purchase from my shop or whatever calico collage pieces make it really really easy because all of her digital products are amazing and once you buy something digitally it's yours and you can print it out all the time i actually huh, just printed out some more of the t-serrate uh ephemera so that i can fussy cut them out and use them on some future projects all right well i hope i inspired you to rock your notebook out thank you so much for watching be sure to check out calico collage i will leave her link below in the description box Bye.